Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Elise and thank you for choosing me to be a yoga teacher today. Today we have a nice sequence with a focus on the shoulders, the neck and the upper back. So we're going to create a lot of space. It's ideal if you sit at your computer the whole day. And uh, if you're a beginner, it's also a very nice uh, sequence for you. And even if you're not a beginner, it's really like for all levels. You don't need any props, you just need your beautiful self and uh, your breath. So hop on your mat and let's get started. Welcome everyone. You can come to our comfortable seated position. You can grab the flesh of your butt cheeks, remove it from the sit bones and kind of dig them in the earth so you feel a really nice anchor. Let the arms fall on your laps, palms up or palms down. You know that's up to you. Roll your shoulders, so actually you inhale, shoulders up, exhale, shoulders down, and one more time. Inhale, shoulders up, exhale, shoulders down. Find a gentle lift in the heart and close your eyes. Take a moment to turn your attention inward. Forget about everything that happened today and earlier this week and don't worry about what might happen later. And bring all our attention in this present moment. Bring all the awareness on the breath. You don't have to do anything. Your body is breathing for you. Just be conscious of it. Observe how your body is feeling today. Observe if, if there are any area of tension or discomfort. And let your exhale release these areas. Allow your exhale to let go of any tension. You can also observe how you're sitting. Observe the way on the body through the sit bones. Draw your spine tall. And then you can check in with your mind. See if you can release any thoughts, anything that doesn't serve you on your yoga mat. And again, allow your exhales to release these thoughts, to release stress or tension. And here you can set an intention for your practice tonight. What brings you on your mat? What can yoga do for you tonight? Now take a deep breath in. Open the mouth and exhale. And when you exhale, you let something go. And again, deep breath in all the way to the top. Maybe you can hold it. Open the mouth and big release. And you can sigh. One more time, the deepest inhale you can. Hold it at the top. Hold it again. And exhale. Come back to a natural and simple breath. Bring your hands in front of your heart in the prayer position. Put the palms together.
Now, cup the palms in front of the eyes, and maybe you can feel energy here, you can feel some vibrations. Blink your eyes open, spread the fingers, and release. All right, very nice. So, um, bring your fingertips on the side, align with your hips, and gently press the fingertips on the floor. Keep a nice and long spine here. Now bring the left hand to the side of the head and very gently draw the left ear towards the left shoulder. So it's not the shoulder that goes towards the ear, but the ear towards the shoulders. Press on your fingertips. Press on the right fingertips. Deep, slow breathing. Now bring your, hands, your head back to the center, bring the hand on the side, and now change. Right hand on the left side of the head, and very gently, you draw the ear towards the shoulders. Ow! Deep, slow breathing. Press on the fingertips that are on the floor. Make sure that the shoulders are aligned with the hips. And now gently release. Good. Now tuck the chin, keep the fingertips on the floor, and we make three circles in one direction and then three to the other. So chin to the chest. Now inhale, bring the right ear towards the right shoulder on an inhale, all the way to the top, and you exhale, left ear, left shoulder. Go very slowly and mindfully. Three big circles in this direction. Oh. And when you've completed three, you go to the other side as mindfully and slowly as you can. So the ear goes towards the shoulders and then the shoulders towards the ear. The ear. And in general, when you do that kind of exercise, you realize that you're a little bit in pain. And when you complete, you bring the chin, the chin, parallel to the floor. All right. Now, interlace the fingers and bring the fingers behind the head and on top of the, of, the, of the head. First, you open the shoulders to the side, I mean, towards the back, so you have a nice opening here. Take a big inhale. And when you exhale, slowly you start to close the, close the elbows and bring the chin towards the chest. And you gently pull the head forward and you gaze towards the earth. Now stretch in the back of the neck and you breathe. And really drop the elbows towards the earth. And now slowly release, bring the chin up, and now place the hands on top of your shoulders. Make sure that the arms are parallel to the floor, the chin is also parallel to the floor, and you know here you really have a long spine, engage your abdominal muscles. Now inhale, reach the elbows high. Exhale, the elbows touch in front of you, bring them all the way down, squeeze the shoulder blades in the back, open the chest, inhale, elbows touch in the front, exhale down. And again, inhale, elbows to the front, they touch. Now bring the upper arm parallel to the floor and we go the other way. Inhale here first and exhale, elbows down. Inhale, they touch. Squeeze the shoulder blades, big circles with the elbows. And you can do two in your own time. Inhaling at the top, shoulder blades squeeze, exhaling down. And again, inhaling at the top, and exhaling down. And now, I never know how to finish this one. <laughs> Bring the forearm partner to the floor, and release. All right. Now, change the pressing of your legs, just because we can. Interlace the fingers behind the back and join the palms together. So don't have don't have open ha uh, open hands. Really have the palms squeezed. Now press the the fist. Well, press the hands on the floor. Inhale and open the chest. You really want to squeeze the shoulder blades for chest expansion. And you gaze up. 
Keep pressing the hands on the floor. Keep engaging the abdominal muscles. And keep breathing. Now take a big breath in. And on the exhale, gently fall forward. The hands come above the head. The forehead goes towards the earth. Keep the palms joined together. And breathe. Now slowly rise up, use the core, and release, good, Ooh, and you can make a wave to release the shoulders, alright, now bring the arms to the side, palm facing down, so don't shrug the shoulders, all the practice you really have to be mindful of the shoulders, now uh, if it's my left, it's your right arm forward, left arm on the knees, cross the elbows, and here I'll give you several variations. So the easiest one would be to grab your shoulders. The second easy one would be to join the palms together. So not the palms, sorry, the, the back of the hands. And a little bit more tricky is to join the hands together. So again, shoulders, front of the hands, or you twist and you join the palms. Now bring the elbows, a parallel to your face and gaze at your wrists. Press the hands together or press the palms together and now very slowly start to lift the elbows and start to lift the fingertips towards the, towards the ceiling. And when you feel that it's enough, you stay. You can close the eyes and you can observe your shoulder blades separating, keep engaging the abdominal muscles and breathe through it. It's not supposed to hurt, but you definitely want to feel a stretch. Now take a big breath in. Exhale, release the arms. Again, you can make a little wave here. Woo. And then we change. Uh, so I think now it's left forward, right on the knees, cross the elbows, and again, join, uh, grab the shoulders, bring the back of the hands together or you squeeze and you bring the palms together. Gaze at your wrists and now slowly start to lift the fingers towards the ceiling and when the stretch is enough you stay and you breathe through it. You don't push, you breathe. Observe the shoulder blades separating and when you feel comfortable maybe you can bring the fingertips a little higher. Big breath in, exhale, release the arms parallel to the floor, and down, and little wave if you want a little wave. Good, now come on to all fours. We'll do a position that I hate, but in general in yoga, what you don't like is what you need, so we will all do it. So make sure, I'll, I'll just face you so you see where we're going. Um, brace under the shoulders, knees under the hips, and the feet disappear behind the heels. So now, cross the left knee over the right knee, and have your feet to the side. You see my feet, they're completely open to the side. And now sit between your legs, ow, and that's when you do ow, all right? That's cow, it's called a uh, cow leg, and now we do the cow arms. So now bring the arms to the ceiling, bend the right elbow and with the left hand you gently want to bring the, the elbow towards the center of the head, behind the head but towards the center. Now if you can, the left arm goes back and you clasp your fingers or you grab your clothes wherever you are and whatever you can do today. And if you want to stay here, you could actually stay here. Now inhale, open the chest, and when you exhale, you fall forward. And then you can do like another ow in the hips. Deep, slow breathing. Allow, allow your body to soften with your exhales. A few more breaths here. Now inhale to come up, release the arms, 
come back onto all fours and we change. Now the right knee over the left, open the feet to the side and come and sit between, ah, between your heels. Ah. Make sure you don't sit on the heels, make sure you, both your butt cheeks are on the floor and your knees are on top of each other. Now arms up, shoulders down, bend the left arm and the right, el the right hand draws the left elbow towards the middle. You can stay here or the right arm comes to the back and you clasp your fingers or you grab the clothes, wherever you are and whatever you can do. Now inhale, open and exhale, fold. And breathe, really breathe through it. Allow every and each of your exhale to soften and maybe to go a little deeper in the pause. Deep breathing. Now inhale to come up. Release. And come back to a tabletop position. Alright, from here we'll take a few rounds of cat cows. So make sure that you have the right alignment. Shoulders, wrists, uh, knees, hips and feet flat behind you. So here, don't collapse, press on your hands to gently dome the upper back. On an inhale, very slowly, drop the belly, arch the back. And here, I want you to really look up. Tailbone is lifted. Exhale, round the upper back. Squeeze the navel towards the, towards the spine, press on your hands. And again, the shoulder blades are separating. Inhale, arch. Open the chest, look up and slowly exhale round. Inhale, and your inhale must have the same length as your exhale. Looking up, opening the chest, and exhale round. And one last time, inhale. Look up, arch the back, and exhale. and come back to neutral spine. Good. And now we are going to do something I, I always tell you not to do, so I'll show you how it works. So we are here with the hands, pressing on the hands, shoulders away from the ears, and now we want to bring the shoulders in the ears. We inhale, we lift, exhale, lower, all right? So we start with pressing on the hands, shoulders away from the ears, inhale, Exhale, bring the shoulders in the ears. Tuck the belly. Inhale, press. Exhale, drop. Two more. Inhale, press. Exhale, drop. Inhale, press. Exhale, drop. And inhale, back to a neutral spine. All right, good. Now bring the right hand in the midline, right underneath uh, your face. Open the, spread the fingers wide. Now inhale, open the left arm to the side, opening the chest, and when you exhale, the left arm slides underneath the right, left shoulders and left ear on the floor, bring the right arm up, and now wrap the arm behind the back and grab the upper left thigh. Or you can just rest the hand on the lower back. And roll your shoulders, it's your right shoulders, roll your shoulders towards the ceiling. Gentle breathing here. Two more slow deep breaths here. Now bring the right arm up, right palm on the floor, press yourself back up, inhale left arm to the ceiling, opening, and exhale release. All right, now make sure that your right hand is underneath the right shoulder and bring the left hand in the midline. Spread your fingers, inhale, open to the right and exhale, bring the right hand, the right arm underneath the left, 
right shoulders and right knee on the floor. Bring the left arm high and now wrap the left arm behind the back. Grab the upper right thigh or just have it rest on the lower back and roll the shoulders and the chest open to the ceiling. Deep breathing. Nice opening of the shoulders, engage your abdominal muscles. Now bring the left arm high, bring the palm on the floor, press yourself back up, inhale, open to the right one more time. And exhale, hands on the floor. Now bring the knees together, press on your hands and bring the hips back towards the heels. Activate the arms so it's a very active um, child's pose here. And now join the palms together in the prayer position in front of you. So imagine that you want to kind of want to swim here like a breaststroke. So the palms are together, fingertips are pointing towards the, towards the front of the mat. Now bring the elbows on the floor and bring the thumbs in the back of your neck. So on top of the on top of the back and press on the elbows here. Now inhale, exhale, bring the hands forward and inhale the thumb back to the back. And you can do five movements like, like this here. Feel a nice stretch in the shoulders and in the shoulder blades. And when you finish five, you can bring the hands flat on the floor again. Press on your hands, come back to a tabletop position. Spread the fingers wide, tuck the toes, hover the knees from the floor and press back to a downward dog position. And it's your first down dog of this practice, maybe not of today, so you can walk your dog. You can take any movement that feels comfortable here. Move the heels, move the knees, move the hips. Make sure you can see yes and no with the head. So you don't want any tension in the neck. Good. And now come to stillness. Find stillness in your down dog. Press the floor away from you. Roll the shoulders outward. And take one towards the ceiling. Now, we twist from here. So make one step further with your feet and now one step to the side so you can open your legs as wide as the mat. So it's a shorter down dog and a wide, wider down dog. Now your left hand grabs the right anchor, the outside of the right anchor. You press the left knee towards the side and you gaze underneath your right armpits. So you really twist to the right you pull on the left anchor and you bring the elbow to the left. Keep pressing away with your right hand and find a nice twist here. Keep engaging the core muscles, not the core muscles, the abdominal muscles. And most importantly, breathe. One more for breath. Now release the left hand. Press the floor away from you to correct your posture. And now the right ankle grabs the outside of the left, are you, sorry, not your right ankle, your right hand, grab the outside of the left ankle. Press, pull on your ankle so the right elbow goes to the right and you bring yourself under your left armpit and you twist and you gaze up. Nice twisting here. Keep engaging the core, keep breathing. Keep pulling the floor away from you, pushing the floor away from you with the left hand. Two more deep breaths here. Now release the right hand towards the front of the mat. Come back to a regular downward dog. So one step back, bring the feet hips distance apart. And now walk your hands towards the back of the mat. You can bend the knees to do so. Here, bend the knees generously and come into rattle pose. 
So the wave is towards the, towards the toes, you grab opposite elbows and you can let yourself dangle here or you can sway from side to side, you decide whatever your body is craving for. Now release the top of the hands on the floor and very gently start to unroll the spine, press on the feet, vertebra by vertebra. And when you reach the top, your arms, they go all the way up as well. They continue all the way up. Interlace the fingers, revolve the palms towards the ceiling, come on your toes and walk to the front of your mat with grace and again in control and then release the heels on the floor. Find your mountain pose here, you know mountain pose, you want to have your feet one foot distance apart and what you can do here is lift your toes and then spread your toes again very consciously on the mat so you really have a good angle here. The arms, activate the arms towards the floor, so the fingertips reach towards the floor. Engage your kneecaps, so you engage your thighs. Roll your shoulders up, back and down. Nice opening of the, of the chest. Engage the core. And your chin is parallel to the floor. And you have a lot of space between the shoulders and the ears. Now reach your arms high. And exhale, fall forward. Inhale halfway up. You can have the hands on the shins or the hands on the floor. And exhale, fold again. We'll do this three times. Press on the feet, inhale, rise up. And exhale, fold, hinging from the hips. Inhale halfway up. Exhale, fold. Press on the feet, inhale, rise up. And exhale all the way down. Inhale halfway up. Stay here. Now bend the knees so you can blend the hands on the floor. Bring the right foot back. Leave so you are in a low lunge here. You want to have the back heel lifted. The left knee is right above the left ankle. The right hand is aligned with the left foot. And now inhale the left arm towards the ceiling for a nice opening. Don't shrug the shoulders, press on the right hand, use the core to twist. Inhale here, exhale, bring the left hand on the floor. Now listen, bring the right foot forward to meet the left foot. And now the left leg goes back and you find yourself in, an, in a low lunge on the other side. Left hand stays on the floor, inhale right arm up. Don't shrug the shoulders, press on the left hand, use the core for a nice twist here. Inhale, exhale, right hand on the floor. Now left foot forward, right foot back. Inhale, left arm high, opening the chest. Exhale, left hand on the floor, right foot forward, left foot back. Inhale, open to the right. And exhale down, left foot forward, right foot back, inhale open, I told you I would have your heart raised a little bit, and exhale down, right foot forward, left foot back, left hand stays, inhale the right arm, and down, left foot forward, right foot back, inhale lift the left arm towards the ceiling, and down, two more. Right foot forward, left foot back. Inhale up, exhale down, left forward, right back. Inhale up, exhale down. Good. Now from here, go to downward dog. Very nice. Good. And breathe. Now inhale the right leg high. And when you exhale, you bring the right foot at the front of the mat. Find yourself in the low lunge again. Now bring the left knee on the floor. Lift the torso so your shoulders are right above the hips. 
Now interlace the fingers behind you. Inhale, open the chest and bring the hands, slide the hands alongside the left leg. So you have a gentle back bend here, opening the chest towards the ceiling. And breathe. And you can gently sink the hips towards the floor. Deep breathing. Inhale here. And exhale, release. Bring the hands on the floor. Now lift the left foot towards the ceiling and make a big circles with the right hand, with the right arm, and come and grab the foot, the right foot. And here gently you can lift the elbows towards this, the elbow towards the ceiling and gently drag the heel towards the sacrum and you gaze back. Keep opening the chest and the shoulders. Inhale here. Exhale, gently release. Bring the right arm back on the floor. Tuck the toes of the left foot. Lift the left heel off the floor and come back to downward dog. Take three deep breaths here. Pressing the floor away from you, rolling your shoulders outward. Tucking the belly, lifting the tailbone, the heels are planted in the floor, and you can say yes and no with the head. Now inhale, left leg high. Exhale, left foot between the hands at the front of the mat. Set your right knee on the floor, and you can flatten the top of the right foot. Now lift your torso, so the shoulders are right above the hips. Interlace the fingers. Press the hands and have them slide alongside the right leg. Sink your hips down. Gaze up, gentle back bend here. Open the chest towards the ceiling, gaze up. Shoulders away from the ears. And again, use your out breath, use your exhale to soften in the pose. Two more deep breaths here. Now inhale, and exhale, release, frame the foot with both hands. Now lift the, the right leg so the toes point towards the ceiling. With the left arm, you make a big circle towards the back of the mat. You grab your left foot, you flip the heel, the, not the heel, the, what do you call it, the elbow towards the ceiling, out, and you bring the sacrum towards, no, the heel towards the sacrum. Oof and you gaze back and you keep opening the chest and rolling the shoulders to the back. Deep breathing and again use your exhale, use your breath to soften. Inhale here, exhale gently release the foot, bring the left arm up and back, tuck the toes of the right foot Lift the right knee off the floor and from here come to a high plank. Good. Open the fingers wide. Use the core. Keep the shoulders away from the ears. And we'll stay in a high plank for just a little bit. Something like five. Four. Gaze between your thumbs. Three. Two. One. Inhale. And exhale. Downward dog. All right, very nice. Take two slow deep breaths here. Downward dog is a great pose to stretch the spine and the back of the leg, which is quite necessary these days. Now look between your hands. Right foot and left foot forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Press on the feet, rise up. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, cactus the arms, bend the elbows, open the chest towards the ceiling, inhale, up, one more time, exhale, cactus the arms, inhale, arms up, and exhale, hands to the heart, and release, good, very nice, now, with your left foot, make a big step towards the back, and open your legs wide, like kind of, kind of wide. 
and you can slightly turn the toes in so the other edge of the feet are parallel to the outside of to the short edge of the mat bring your hands back interlace the fingers press your hands towards the floor open the chest inhale here and on the exhale fall forward with a flat back and the hands go over the head keep the palms of the hands together drop the shoulders away from the ears the weight is more towards the toes you can keep a slight bend in the knees if necessary here and breathe now press on the feet inhale rise up Send your arms up, five pointing stars, turn the toes outwards. Inhale here and just once, goddess pose because we love our goddess. Good. Now from here, bring the palm, bring the hands on the, on the thighs with the fingers pointing down. Shoulders above the hips, inhale. Exhale, drop the right shoulders to the floor and gaze over the left shoulder. Inhale in the center. Exhale, drop the left shoulder, gaze over the right. Inhale, center, and one more time. Exhale, drop the right, look over the left. Inhale, center, and exhale to the other side. And inhale, center. Press on your feet. Inhale, rise up, five pointing stars and exhale hands to the side now the front foot bring it perpendicular to the front of the mat and the back foot slightly turn in both your legs are extended and your your hips are parallel to the long edge of the mat bring your arms parallel to this to the floor from here we'll go to triangle pose so shift your hips back imagine you want to close a, tra a drawer behind you reach forward you want to Reach for something, multitasking, and then when you you come down with the right hand, right fingertips on the floor, or gently resting on the shin. Now, bring the shoulders down and the hips forward. Imagine you have a glass window behind you and you want to be completely flat on it. Shoulders away from the ears, use the core so you don't collapse the chest. Fingertips activated towards the ceiling. Deep breathing. Now press on the feet, use the core. Inhale, rise up with your arms parallel to the floor. And now we switch, we go to the other side. So the front foot becomes the back foot. Turn the back foot in. The back foot comes parallel, uh, perpendicular to the front of the mat and we have switched side. Now shift the hips back, you want to close the drawer behind you, you want to reach for something in the front, you want to reach, 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 and then find Trikonasana triangle pose. Hips forward, shoulders back, gaze up or gaze down, actually I should have told you you can gaze down. Feel a nice stretch as well on your right side. Engage the core, don't pull out the chest. Deep breathing, deep slow breathing. Now press on the feet, inhale, rise up. Bring the feet again parallel to the edge of the mat. One more time, bring the hands behind, interlace the fingers, inhale, open the chest. And when you exhale, you fall forward. The hands come over the head, you can keep a slight bend in the knees. Engage the core, send the navel towards the spine. Now press on your feet, inhale, rise up, and release. Good. And now you can hop. Good. Now bring your feet together, come on your toes, bring the hands in prayer position in front of your heart, and very slowly start to bend the knees, stay on your toes, stay on the toes. Stay on the toes. Good. All right, very nice. Now, I'm just going, I'm just going to do this. Stay here. 
Now see if you can flatten the feet on the floor. Now see if you can make yourself in a little ball. And now very gently, boom, come to sit with elegance, grace. All right, now uh, we know tabletop and now we will do a reverse tabletop. So bring the feet flat on the floor and bring the hands back and open them wider than the hips because we have to bring them to bring the hips between the hands. So the first thing we do is pressing on the hands so we can lift the chest, lift the, lift the heart. Now press on your feet, inhale, bring your hips high to the ceiling and let your head uh, drop towards the back. Squeeze the glutes. Inhale here and exhale, come down. That's option A. Option B would be to bring the hips between uh, the arms. So again, press on your hands, open the chest, inhale, lift, squeeze the glutes, and now you can go to option A or you can come with me to option B, bring the hips back between the hands, come on your, on your, what do you call it, on the hips, use the core. Now inhale, hips high, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the belly, and exhale, bring the hips between the hands. Strong legs, strong core. One last time. Inhale. And exhale. And gently drop down. All right, very nice. Now if you are like me at the back of the mat, please come to the front of your mat. Extend the arms in front of you. And gently unroll the spine on the mat. All right, good. Now bring the heels towards the bum and we'll take bridge pose with chest expansion. So make sure that you can uh, touch the heels. Now imagine that you have a dictionary or block, a yoga block between your thighs that you want to squeeze together. So you don't want to open the legs. You really want to keep that imaginary block squeeze between the thighs. Hands alongside the body, palm facing down. Now press on the feet, inhale, reach your hips high. Clasp your hands, so interlace the fingers behind the back. And now roll on the other edge of your shoulders. Your chest goes towards the chin, but the chin doesn't want to, so the chin goes away from the chest. You can gaze up. And again, keep squeezing that block between the thighs. Press on the feet. Press your hands on the floor. Squeeze the glutes. Squeeze the abs and keep breathing. We'll stay here for three, two, one. And slowly first release the shoulders, release the arms. Release the back and roll the spine. And now draw the knees to the chest and give them a good squeeze and roll on the back to massage it. Good. And we will do this one more time. All right, so plant the feet on the floor again. Make sure you can touch the heels. Now make sure your feet are parallel and imagine that block between the thighs. Now press on your feet. Inhale, lift the hips. Now, interlace the fingers, clasp your hands. Roll on the other edge of your shoulders, so the shoulders are behind the back. Press your hands on the floor. Press on your feet. The chest goes towards the chin, but the chin goes away from the chest. Keep squeezing the glutes. Keep squeezing your thighs together. And breathe. Deep, slow breathing. Now take a big inhale. And on the exhale, release the shoulders. 
Release the hands, release the back on the floor. Bring the knees to the chest and release. And you can roll on the spine from side to side. And since today we have a shorter focus practice, we can't end without a shorter stand. So, you can first come laying on your back completely flat and correct your alignment. Make sure that your head and your neck and your spine and your tailbone are aligned, that your shoulders are on the floor and your hands are flat on the floor. Now, from here, you actually can't look at the screen any anymore. You really have to trust me and listen to the voice. Now, bring your legs high towards the ceiling. That's the first step. Now, give yourself a little bit of momentum. Lift the hips off the floor. You can actually bring the toes back into some kind of a plow pose. Lift the hips and bring the hands as high as you can in the back, so towards the shoulders. It's a shoulder stand, so all the weight is on the shoulders. See if you can bring the elbows towards the midline of the mat. Now, gaze towards your navel, or you can gaze towards the feet, but again, make sure that the chin is away from the chest. Keep breathing. Visualize the flow of the flow of the energy going from the toes to the head and enjoy having the head below the heart. And breathe. Now very slowly, you can do it one leg at a time or both legs at the same time. Bring your legs behind the head. With the toes pointing or the toes tucked on the floor. And if you can't, it's fine. You can just stay here halfway. Don't be scared. Release the hands on the floor. Or, if you want, you can even bring the hands towards the feet. That's also an option. and breathe. Now, if your hands are towards the feet, bring your hands back. Now, bring the hands on the, on the, low, on the back for everyone. And now, lift the left leg up to the ceiling, and then the right leg up to the ceiling, Come back to your shoulder stand and now very softly bring your knees towards the forehead and start to unroll the spine on the mat. You can use your hands for support very slowly. Now extend the legs in front of you. We have to counterpose that with fish pose. So slide the hands behind the bum. Your elbows are really alongside the body. Press on the elbows, bump the chest towards the ceiling, arch the back and bring the crown of the head on the floor so you can gaze back and you can open the throat. And you breathe. And if you want, you can lift your legs off the floor, but that's absolutely optional. Inhale, exhale, release. And again, bring the knees to the chest and squeeze. And now we have one more thing to do. We have to twist our spine. So keep the right knee towards the chest and extend the left leg on the floor. Extend the right arm on the floor with the palm facing down. And with your left hand, you bring the right knee to the left. Maybe there is a crack in the back and you gaze towards the other side. And you breathe deeply through the belly. One more for breath. Now bring the knee 
back to the center. One last big squeeze and change. Left knee to the chest, left arm on the floor, and the right hand draws the left knee towards the right. And you gaze towards the left. Oof. And maybe you have a crack in the back. And breathe. Slow deep breath here. Now bring the knee back to the center. Bring both knees to the chest. Wrap them with your arms. Lift the tailbone off the floor. Now lift the shoulders off the floor and bring the forehead or the nose towards the knee and squeeze, make yourself in a little ball and really create tension here. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Now take a big inhale and exhale, release in Shavasana. Extend your legs in front of you as wide as the mat. Extend the arms away from the, from the torso with the palm facing up. Take a deep breath in and exhale, exhale through the mouth. Take another deep breath in open the mouth and exhale. One last time, deep breath in. And exhale. Now let go of any control on the body, on the breath. And surrender in Shavasana. Allow your body to be completely relaxed on the mat. Allow your feet to drop and to fall on each side of the mat with no tension. Allow your legs to be heavy and to sink into the floor. Relax the hips. Relax the belly and the chest. Relax your shoulders and your shoulder blades. Relax the upper back, the mid back and the lower back. Relax the arms, the hands and the fingers. Relax all the muscles in your neck. Open the mouth so you can relax the tongue and relax the jaw. Relax your nostrils and your cheeks. Relax your temples and your ears. Relax your eyes and your eyeballs. Relax your forehead and the back of the head. Allow your body to be completely still and relax on the floor. Relax your mind. Let go of any thoughts. And gently bring your awareness to the breath. Stay present with the breath. Be the witness of its flow. Every inhale. And every exhale.
now you can gently bring your awareness back to the space around you. Feel the air on your skin. Feel the contact of the claws on your skin. Maybe you notice a smell. Or you have a taste in your mouth. Visualize the furniture around you, the colors and the shapes. Visualize the walls, the ceiling, the windows, and your body laying on the floor, completely still. And now you can gently start to bring movements back in the body by wiggling the fingers and the toes. You can make small rotation with the wrists and the ankles in both directions. Extend the arms behind the head so you can stretch in a deep inhale. And then in your own time, bring the knees to the chest. And you can roll on either side. Come into a fetal position for just a moment. And here, I want you to think of three things for which you're grateful today. Can be anything, can be little things, bigger things, whatever you're grateful for. Then you can come back to the intention you set at the beginning of the practice. What could yoga do for you today? And then very gently you can come back to a seated position with your legs crossed and your eyes closed for one more moment. Find a gentle lift in the heart. Feel the weight of the body through the sit bones. Bring your hands in the prayer position in front of your heart. And together to close the practice, we'll chant the peace mantra Aum Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. You can exhale all the air. Now inhale deeply to chant. Aum Shanti. thoughts, in your words, in your heart, and in your home. Namaste. Thank you everyone.